These two photos in the screen right now were taken 10 seconds apart. Editors put them up right now. You can see the first one of me in shape. And you can see the second of me not in shape. Look at me when I'm talking to you. This is extremely important. You understand? This is going to change your perception. If you haven't known this and been living under a rock, Instagram is extremely fake. Extremely fake. Okay? This is the game and we're going to talk about this. Again, post it, no. <laughs> Pause it, get your mirror. You know what we're doing. These pictures, as I wrote here, were 10 seconds apart. Okay, you can see the clock. It was actually like two minutes, whatever. I went in the kitchen, came back. But those pictures are exactly the same person in the exact same position. But why do I look so different? Why? Do you not ever ask yourself? Like, do you not ever look at yourself in the mirror? And maybe you've done this and maybe you can relate and you unconsciously compare, right? That's what a lot of people do. Me at one point, 100% agree. But do you not ever look at yourself and say, okay, I look like this. Why do they look like this? You do? No? Cool. The key point here is to what extent does that affect you? Because again, you don't know their story. You don't know their routine. You don't know if they're on steroids. Yeah. You don't know the angle. You don't know the lighting. You don't know how many attempts it took. You don't know jack shit. But then you sit there every day on compare yourself oh i don't look like this because they're fake they don't exist these people do not exist yes there are some and this is what we're going to talk about in my first point there are some people that do work out and have achieved that body this is me just after a workout yeah and um, look i'm tensing but look as you can see there's a difference already look tensing not tensing upright look tensing like this as you can see, there are some people that have got good gains and they've done the right thing. No problem, we respect them wholeheartedly. But the majority of things you are seeing are fake. And you need to understand that when they are fake, they're not representative of the real world, so you're wasting your time. You're trying to compete to something that's fake that you have no idea, or maybe they're miles, miles, miles ahead of you in terms of the experience or the time. So, oh, you think you're gonna wake up next day looking like that? It doesn't flipping work like that okay so stop being so harsh on yourself stop comparing yourself and making yourself feel like shit bro because everything you see 75 percent of photos on instagram have been edited edited as in they've changed certain things maybe it's the lighting maybe it's the angle maybe they fucking use that app where they've you know the girls where they give themselves curves and shit like that they swipe like that there's some disgusting things on the internet okay and you must not compare or make yourself feel shit about them because they don't exist it's not real life this is real life this is a person who just finished working out come to the room with his gloves the one looking at the camera talking to you this is real life who wrote notes before on a post-it note this is real life this is authenticity okay first point as i said instagram is fake affected your perception this is key this instagram this these things you see online affect your perception okay and you just need to acknowledge it don't immerse yourself into it and say, what, this person looks like this at this point, this person looks like this. Yes, there are some people, as I said, there are some people that are just genuinely good looking, have got things together. But ask yourself this one question, where are the ugly people on Instagram? <laughs> Look at me. Where are the ugly people on Instagram? <laughs> Now, can you see? Huh? Oh, I love talking about stuff like this. And I hope you're resonating. There are no ugly people on Instagram because Instagram is the algorithm that pushes the most attractive people to make you look at them and say, oh, I don't look like that. And then why? So you can buy things. That's how they make their money. <laughs> they make you feel insecure so you can buy things. These temporary happinesses or these temporary fixes to fix your problem but the problem doesn't get fixed because what you're chasing is unchaseable do you understand <laughs> what you're looking at is miles down the line or unattainable you're only going to know by having a conversation with them or again there are a very 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 small percent of people that are authentic and so honest 
So, <laughs> when you looked at those photos, how did you feel? You were shocked, didn't it? Because I'm, I, I've learned how to tense. I've learned how to tense. I've learned to put my light on like that, that angle, oh, I mean, the, to that um, brightness. I've learned how to angle myself. These are skills. I saw Mike Thurston and a Matt Does Fitness, I believe. It was in 2015. Like you can go and check it on their channel. But they were talking about how they pose for photos. Completely and utterly shocked. Man's like this. And he's like, he's tense. He's learnt the ways to tense and flex certain parts of his body that we probably can't even be able to. I would have never thought that before. I would have thought exactly like you. Oh, these people are attainable. Yes, in that photo, for that split second, they look like that, but in real life, they don't. And the second snap I put there was me in real life, just not flexing and looking at the camera, but I look completely different just by tensing angled lighting. You must understand these things. Everyone is lying to you. Yeah, that point at the end. Everyone is lying to you. Everyone. Instagram is, come on, say it together. The best. The best. <laughs> Everyone's happy on Instagram. Everyone's making money. Everyone's with their loved ones. Right, so where are the unhappy people? <laughs> the unhappy people are the ones posting. The unhappy people are the ones viewing. Everyone's unhappy, bro. The vast, vast, vast majority of people are unhappy, are struggling don't know the direction, feel lost, confused, anxious in life, depressed. Everyone, everyone is unhappy at some point of their day. Everyone. Instagram is fake. It doesn't exist. It does not exist. Yeah, use it like I'm doing to connect and whatever and brings me to my next point or my last point, shall I say. Understand the game. The game on Instagram is what? Oh, I live a perfect life. Look at me. Envy me. Envy me. Envy me. The game is envy me. Envy me. Look at me. I have abs and you don't. Ha ha ha. I have a tattoo and you don't. Ha ha ha. Envy me. It's insecure people looking for validation. That's all it is. The girls. Who not to shit on girls. The girls. Oh, look at me. 10,000 likes. This rapper was in my DM. It's the same fucking shit. Envy me. That's all it is. Envy a fake version of me, which when you meet someone in real life and you've probably seen it, you've maybe seen a nice girl, you go link her completely different, acts completely different. Envy me, you've seen a perception that I want you to sh show. And yeah, listen, not shitting on people, everyone, even myself, wants to show the best, but there's no authenticity there. There's no realness there. So why are you getting so worked up over it? Because it doesn't exist. How... Everyone, and you you probably agree with this, how you all use Instagram is, oh, I wish I was like that. How I use Instagram, oh, this person looks good there. I'm so happy for them if it's legit and everything. If it's not, then whatever. Okay, I brush it off the shoulder. Oh, this person looks all right. If I've seen it, I don't look at this shit anyway. But if I see, oh, I'm so happy for them. If that's, that's, um, that's real. Anyways, what have I got to do today? You lot immerse yourself in this bubble, make yourself feel so insecure and sick. Because it's designed to do that. It's designed to envy me. Remember these two words, envy me. That's the purpose of Instagram. Last but not least, I know I said my last point, but last thing I actually did miss out is numbers. 15% of the world works out. 15% of the world. What's 15% of 8 billion? Go, 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 go. I'm joking. Uh, uh, good. I got uh, a first 800, 800 million. Whatever, a bit over that. Actually, it'll be like one point. What's well, one point two billion? I'm good at maths. So <laughs> that percent of the world works out based on statistics, and the people that actually take care of themselves, eat right, everything is one percent less. It's about zero point five percent. How many people is that? That's hardly anyone, right? And of course, if you have achieved a good body naturally and everything like that, or whatever, and you do look good, then you should be so proud of yourself, just like myself and. Again, I'll put a photo up, editors. That was me before. What, three, four, five years? When I was, yeah, 18, 19, I think. Four, five years ago, that was me before. So I'm proud of myself for looking like this. And we all should be proud of yourself. You all should work to improve. But also understand the game. And understand that what you're seeing is rare and is extremely 
not representative of public. In public, are you seeing everyone with six packs? Are you seeing everyone jacked? Are you seeing everyone look good? No, but why on Instagram are you? Because this is the envy me. This is the purpose of Instagram. It's done this on purpose, okay? So, what you do is you take a deep breath. And you acknowledge that you're beautiful. You will improve. You're going to have a better life. You're going to look good. You're going to feel good. You just need to work on yourself for now, okay? You also acknowledge that when you see things on Instagram, we don't hate on people. We don't hate on these nice girls. We don't hate on these jacked guys. And we say, oh, I'm so happy for them. One day, you know, if I keep working, hopefully if that's like legit and everything like that, you know, I know in my head, as Kiri said, there's not really any authenticity, but if it is, I'm so happy for them. And we don't immerse and say, oh, why can't I be like that? <laughs> no, every day is a day. And you use your 24 hours. Oh, Molly, mate, you've got 24 hours, that little. <laughs> you use your hours as best as you can to improve and to strive towards something real and authentic where you feel secure in yourself. Is that understood? Don't go on Instagram after this. Go on anything else, but not Instagram. If I find out you go on Instagram, Comment below if you want to Instagram after and I'll come find you. <laughs> Love. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide, all links will be down below.